Um, everywhere I would order paneer dishes and try and create those recipes, not the restaurant style. Because my idea was to uh, capture the masses and cook the same food in a healthier way, minus that extra oil. Up to restaurants are also very careful, don't put so much oil, but earlier there, there was a lot of oil. So I would minus that oil, minus that spicy things and put nice good ingredients, healthy ingredients with paneer and made a book on paneer. That was paneer all the way. That book was really a hit. It, it was very well received by the people and I printed 5000 copies and in uh, I think about a month's time I was uh, told to reprint more. So that, that was what really made me. I guess it was the right, uh, you know you have to see everyone works but then you should work, in, you should think before you work what is that people would want not what when I write I don't see what I like I always think what my readers would want I so I think that clicked the book size the ingredient paneer and then there was no looking back then so many books followed that's it and paneer I wrote very fast I took about maybe uh, two months to write whereas the first book I took one and a half years to write now I can write a book in 15 days because there's so much of experience and I have my staff helping me. Mm. So it goes much faster now. Mm. Uh, when was it that you first, uh, you know, published the book? Which year? Uh, this was 94. 94. And when did you begin your cookery classes? 85. 85. Uh -huh. uh, so about 8 to 10 years I was busy with my classes. So I had a good experience uh, about, you know, practical experience with cooking when I was taking my classes. Okay. And what was the strength of your first class? Uh, strength was about, uh, since the place wasn't too big, I couldn't hold uh, too many girls. But I couldn't send back also because many flowed in and I had to literally say there's no place. It was about 30 and um, and you won't believe it was in that room and uh, this was the kitchen. And here was a window sill si thi, mm -hmm. and people would sit on the window sill also and watch. They said we will sit on the window sill and watch but we are not going back. And some of them were standing outside and they were also watching on the edge of whatever they could see. So what is the most memorable incident in your journey to success? There have been many incidents but then uh, you know, I've got very nice compliments sometimes, like, you know, um, the young girls who come to me, they say, okay, we feel uh, as if, you know, uh, I feel I'm learning from my mother. So I used to give them that comfort level. They used to have that comfort level with me. And I always tell my instructors also, you need to be very approachable. I see that if the person who's sitting on the other side, is more comfortable in Hindi, I'll speak in Hindi. I'll see what, she's more comfortable in English, I'll speak in English. So, and you have to really make them feel that they can ask the silliest of questions from you and I mean, nobody's going to laugh at them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that was mm -hmm. what it is now. Okay. So, what do you think are the your sutras for success? Basically, I feel uh, persistence and hard work, one shouldn't... Uh, like the first book didn't do well and if I had thought Pas Ho Gya, that's the end, it would have been the end. But then look forward and you should be focused. Like I was literally, you know, eating, sleeping, doing everything about cooking. People read uh, cookbooks, people read magazines. I used to read cookbooks as magazines before I went to bed, you know. They would interest me. So it's, you should be passionate about what you do. Be persistent, believe in yourself first of all. Mm -hmm. If you believe in yourself, the others believe in you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, dream, don't be scared of dreaming because unless you dream, you don't, you can't do it. And one more thing which I feel is, you know, mental peace. Now mental peace only comes when you're happy. And when can you be happy? When you give happiness to others. That's what makes you happy. You know, if you, uh, I keep telling my children, my daughter-in-law and my son, they live, we live all live together. Many people tell us, where the children are living. I said, no, 
you have to understand the children then only the children understand you and it's kind of unity if there's unity at home when in any relationship then only one can prosper so one should be forgiving one should try and be happy all the time you know ho gaya just forget things if anything goes wrong just forget it get over it fast that's important i feel because unless one or two days if i'm stressed i don't create that kind of recipe my work shows i can't do that kind of work kabhi kabhar to ghar mein ho hi jata hai you know you are living together so once in a while maybe with your son your daughter in law your husband moods and ho jata hai but that it affects so unity and happiness is one thing which is important i feel as a woman at least because women are more uh, compassionate and they are more emotional men if they fight and they you know <laughs> because they are doing it in business all the time so i think they are used to it but women can't work like that what is the definition of happiness happiness is uh, when you are basically when you are happy you are stress free and when you are not happy you are very stressed mentally and what is the definition of success success is uh, getting what you want it's not it's not always monetary it could be uh, uh, a few words of appreciation it could be uh, monetary of course and it could also be um, happiness and good health okay. so what uh, is they, they say we had every successful man is a woman so behind every successful woman there is a man definitely and i would say the woman ki more than the man it is the man your husband in the beginning but then it's the whole family which supports you because you know your children are in the beginning my children were small i remember when they used to come back from school i would quickly wind up my class maybe sometimes they would need to wait for 5 minutes but they had the patience to wait they would see me working you know so the children it's the whole family you need the support at least in my case the family and my husband they've been very supportive i've been lucky do you have any role model um not really but martha stewart is i really look up to her 